Shalom children of God. Welcome back to Marie Speaks God's Grace Bible Study. This week's Jewish terminology word is, Sefer. Image credit, brave browser image search. I am in love with today's Jewish terminology word of the week. Anyone who knows me knows I love. And I do mean love books. I love the way they look, especially when old. The older the better. I, 100% am that book geek who will be at the store picking up old dusty books and smelling them. I know some might be like gross, which I can completely understand. But, I love the smell of old books. I also think certain books have spiritual positive and negative anointing on them. So I think I can smell whether a book is cursed or not. Obviously, if it's cursed I don't get it. But, also if a book smells sour or rotten. I believe that signals that a book might be cursed or perhaps previously owned by an ungodly person. If I believe God wants me to buy a book and it smells sour, I pray over the book to cancel any curses, hexes, vexes, or in sins that may be attached to the book. I also might sure I say a prayer for personal clarity with Hashem, because I don't want my personal issues or desires for books to override what God is telling me. Oftentimes, I leave the book. If I ever feel unsure about a purchase, I figure God will call me back to buy the book. One time, I felt lead back to a bookstore to get a book. After almost a year it was still there. So, yeah I got the book and I love it. What was the book you ask? Well, it was a Bible. That was around 2008, I was stated in Washington state, and here we are years later. Yes, I still have it. Although, I am no longer of Rome 325, I enjoy the memories of the bumpy, windy, and sometimes painful road that has lead me back to Orthodox Judaism. God has a plan. Don't ever forget it. We just need to find our way back to Him. Hashtag thank you. Ha! Shem. FYI, I pray a cancellation prayer over thrifted clothes too. Really, anything that I buy that is second-hand, which is a lot of things. I enjoy the older styles of items. Always have and I think I always will. So for today's word which my personally own the JPS Dictionary of Jewish Words by Joyce Eisenberg and Ellen Skinnick 2001 copyright first edition defines this week's Jewish terminology word sefer as, a Hebrew noun pronounced as, sefer, meaning book. This had me thinking, what is the oldest record sefer Torah ever found? Well oldest.org states, written, between 2nd century BCE-2nd century CE in the location of Qumran Caves in the West Bank near the Dead Sea the contents, of all five books of the Torah and every part of the Hebrew Bible except the Book of Esther. The Dead Sea Scrolls are some of the most important and well-known biblical artifacts ever discovered. Most of the Dead Sea Scrolls were written between the 2nd century BCE-the 2nd century CE, and had remained buried in the Judean desert for thousands of years before being discovered in 1947 by a Bedouin shepherd. The shepherd's initial discovery of the first seven Dead Sea Scrolls, launched a massive search for more scrolls in nearby caves. Eventually, thousands of scroll fragments, amounting to over 900 manuscripts, were uncovered at numerous sites across the Judean desert and are collectively known as the Dead Sea Scrolls. A wonderful video titled The Dead Sea Scrolls, Jewish History Lab, by Henry Abramson Still older than the Dead Sea Scrolls is Ket of Hinnom Silver Scroll Amulets. Year written, c. late 7th or early 6th century BCE location, Ket of Hinnom Archaeological Site, near the old city of Jerusalem. Contents, blessings possibly from an early version of the Book of Numbers. The two silver scroll amulets from the Ketef Hinnom archaeological site are the oldest pieces of the Torah ever found in the world. The scrolls were discovered in 1979 and were estimated to be from around the late 7th or early 6th century BCE. The two small strips of silver contain what is known as the priestly benediction, from the Book of Numbers, the fourth book of the Torah, making it the oldest biblical passage ever found on an ancient artifact. A video I found titled Jerusalem, Silver Bible Scrolls from Ketef Hinnom by Israel with David Hyman looks wonderful on this topic. How amazing is this? I absolutely witnessing God's promise come to pass. Hashem blessed be he has preserved his word. Tehillim 12 For the leader, on the Sheminath. A Psalm of David. Help, O Lord. For the faithful are no more. The loyal have vanished from among men. Men speak lies to one another. Their speech is smooth. 
They talk with duplicity. May the Lord cut off all flattering lips. Every tongue that speaks arrogance. They say, by our tongues we shall prevail. With lips such as ours, who can be our master? Because of the groans of the plundered poor and needy. I will now act, says the Lord. I will give help, he affirms to him. The words of the Lord are pure words. Silver perched in an earthen crucible. Refined sevenfold. You, O Lord, will keep them. Guarding each from this age evermore. On every side the wicked roam. When baseness is exalted among men. This week's word was selected at random from my personally owned the JPS Dictionary of Jewish Words by Joyce Eisenberg and Ellen Skinnick 2001 Copyright First Edition. I'm not paid to endorse nor affiliated. This book is from my personal library. I purchased this book from thriftbooks.com You can get your own personal low-price copy using the link below. thriftbook.com Remember to keep up to date with us via our website at Marie Speaks God's Grace.Live for all our blog and social media links. Season 5 of the Bible Study has returned. Woo! Whoa! Please feel free to catch up on the Bible studies and other videos we have uploaded on YouTube and rumble. So like, heart, rumble, subscribe and or share for next class. Until next time, with God stays in beautiful love, mercy, and grace we will see each other soon. With love. Marie. Disclaimer, sources and resources have been hyperlinked in blog for an easier reading during podcast.